Welcome to our lecture online. Here's another viewer request and it's actually a fun problem. We have a bicycle and of course I didn't draw the whole bicycle so I'm not that good at drawing bicycles but I did draw the back wheel and the, the sprocket to which the pedal is connected and then the chain connecting the front sprocket with the back sprocket. They tell us that the front sprocket has 48 teeth and the back sprocket has 18 teeth. They also tell us that the diameter of the bicycle wheel is 70 centimeters and that the pedal will rotate 60 times, 60 rotations. And the question is, how far will the cyclist travel if the pedal rotates 60 times, the wheel diameter is 70 centimeters, the front sprocket has 48 teeth and the back sprocket has 18 teeth. All right, how do we do that? Well, we need to come up with an equation that describes the distance. And so the distance, will be equal to the number of rotations, number of pedal rotations. Well, let's see, would that be the best way to think about it? No, I think I'm going to do that differently. Let's think about it differently. Let's say that the distance equals the circumference of the bicycle wheel times the number of tire rotations. That should be an F, number of tire rotations. That's a better way of thinking about it. So here we have the distance expressed as the circumference of the tire or the wheel. So that's one time going around is equal to C times the number of times the wheel goes around. So when we multiply those two we have the total distance traveled. Now the circumference since it's a circle that's equal to 2 pi times the radius. Now they gave the diameter which means the radius is equal to the diameter divided by 2, which is therefore equal to 35 centimeters. So we have the radius and we have 2 pi. Now the number of tire rotations. So that will depend upon the number of pedal rotations and the gear ratio. Now notice, if this has a smaller sprocket than here, for every one rotation here, we'll have more rotations here. It'll be in the ratio of the number of teeth here versus the number of teeth there. If there is twice as many teeth here as is there, then for every one pedal rotation there will be two tire rotations. So it's proportional to the ratio of the number of teeth. So we're going to then multiply the times the number of pedal rotations and the ratio of teeth here versus teeth there. And it's going to be 48 divided by 18. Now why 48 divided by 18? Because that will give us a greater distance, a greater number of times the tire will go around. If there's more teeth here than there's here, then there'll be more rotations here than there. It's kind of like in reverse. And so that's why we have 48 over 18. If this was smaller and this was bigger, then it would be in reverse. So now all we have to do is plug in the numbers. So distance is equal to 2 pi times the radius, which is now 0 0.35 meters, converted from centimeters to meters, the number of pedal rotations, which is 60, whoop, 60, and the ratio of 48 over 18. And that will give us the total distance traveled by the cyclist after 60 rotations. So 2 times pi times 0.35 times 60 times 48 divided by 18, and we get 352 meters of distance. There we go. And that is how we work with gear ratios. If this is bigger than this, then we make this rotate more times than we rotate this. If you want to, let's say you start pedaling uphill and you want to have fewer rotations for pedal rotation. So what you do is you make the sprocket bigger and then you'll have to pedal more times to get the wheel to turn around, which will make it easier to go up the hill. But this would be probably a rotation a ratio you want to use for easy riding on the level. And that is how it's done. You sure this is a physics problem, but not a algebra problem? Uh, you know, it could be an algebra problem. It could be a physics problem. I didn't know for sure. Ah, I think it's probably, uh, I would count it a physics problem. It's something that would belong in physics and mechanical engineering and so forth. It's the beginning of that. So I would say physics. Applied mathematics. How's that? <laughs>